Ah, every gardener knows the struggle. Autumn arrives, and with it, mountains of crisp, dry leaves that seem to multiply overnight. Usually the only solution is to rake, bag, and then wait months for them to decompose into something useful. But hey, what if you could speed that process up, turning those dry leaves into rich, dark compost in just a few weeks? Well, that's exactly what happens when you use a simple, natural solution made from everyday kitchen ingredients, sugar, yeast, and molasses. This easy homemade mix gives nature's decomposers the boost they need to work in overdrive, transforming piles of leaves into living compost faster than you ever thought possible. Welcome to Soil and Crop Central, where we turn ordinary garden waste into living gold. Every fall, millions of gardeners face the same challenge, piles of fallen leaves that can take up to six months to fully decompose. That's because dry leaves are rich in carbon, but low in readily available energy sources that microbes need to thrive. By feeding those microbes with a mix of sugar and molasses, you supercharge their activity. The sugar provides instant energy, the molasses delivers essential nutrients, and the yeast introduces billions of beneficial microorganisms. The result? A microscopic feeding frenzy that rapidly breaks down even the driest, toughest leaves. This isn't magic, it's microbiology in motion. To create this natural compost booster, precision is key. Alright so for 1 gallon, which is about 4 liters, of the mix, you'll want to combine the following, 1 tablespoon of dry yeast, that's roughly 10 grams, half a cup of sugar, or about 100 grams, 2 teaspoons of molasses which comes out to 30 milliliters and finally, 4 liters of lukewarm water, somewhere in the range of 30 to 35 degrees Celsius. First, go ahead and dissolve the sugar and molasses in the warm water. Once that's done, sprinkle in the yeast and give it a gentle stir. Now, just let the mixture rest for about 30 to 60 minutes in a warm, shaded area. When you notice foam starting to form on the surface, that's a good sign. The yeast is alive and multiplying. That means your solution is ready to use. One gallon covers roughly 10 square meters, or about 100 square feet of leaves. For larger areas, simply scale up the recipe accordingly. Rake your leaves into a pile or, you know, just spread them evenly across your garden bed. Using a watering can or garden sprayer, pour the solution over the leaves until they're damp but not drenched. Too much water can limit airflow, and that can really slow the decomposition process. If your leaves are especially dry or thick, go ahead and mix them lightly with a rake or shovel to help the solution soak through. Then, cover the pile with a thin layer of soil. This helps introduce more natural microbes and keeps moisture locked in. Within one to two days, you'll notice warmth rising from the pile as the microbes get to work. Over the next three to seven days, microbial activity really skyrockets. The pile heats up, sometimes even steaming in cool weather. The smell changes from musty to earthy. A sure sign that life is returning to your soil. By the second week, the leaves begin to soften and darken, losing their rigid structure. By week three, you'll have dark, crumbly, nutrient-rich compost ready to feed your plants. This isn't just decomposed leaves, it's a microbial superfood. As the mix breaks down organic matter, it releases nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium in forms your plants can easily absorb. The resulting humus improves soil structure, enhances water retention, and supports beneficial soil life, all of which lead to stronger, healthier crops. To keep the process running smoothly, you'll want to maintain moisture like a wrung-out sponge. Turn the pile every three to four days to add oxygen. If it smells sour, it's too wet, so turn it to aerate, and if it's too dry, just sprinkle more of the yeast solution or water. In cooler climates, you'll want to insulate the pile with straw to help hold in warmth, and in hotter areas, it's best to keep it shaded so it doesn't dry out too quickly. Honestly, the balance between heat, moisture, and air is what really keeps the transformation going strong. If your solution doesn't foam during activation, your yeast may be inactive, 
so always use fresh yeast and warm, not hot, water. And if decomposition seems a bit slow, just add a handful of mature compost or even some garden soil to introduce extra microbes. After a few batches, you'll really get a feel for what works best in your local climate. The mix is pretty forgiving. Just stay close to the right proportions and make sure there's enough airflow and you'll get great results every single time. Untreated leaves stay dry, stiff and layered for months. Treated leaves on the other hand, become soft, dark and earthy within just a few weeks. When you hold the finished compost in your hands, it crumbles easily and smells like fresh forest soil, a sure sign that life has returned. Gardeners who use this method often notice bigger vegetables, brighter flowers, and longer soil moisture retention. It doesn't just recycle waste, it revives the entire soil ecosystem. Using this method closes the natural loop in your garden. Instead of sending leaves to landfill, you're transforming them into a renewable source of fertility. You'll save money on fertilizers, enrich your soil naturally, and reduce waste, all with a recipe that costs almost nothing. It's sustainable gardening in its purest form, powered by sugar, yeast, molasses, and thyme. At Soil and Crop Central, we believe in working with nature, not against it. This isn't a shortcut. It's nature accelerated, guided by science and a little human ingenuity. So, next time your yard is buried in leaves, don't reach for garbage bags. Instead, grab a bucket, mix up this living elixir, pour it over those leaves and just watch as they come alive again as rich, nourishing compost. It's fast. It's natural. And honestly, it works every single time. If you found this helpful, go ahead and share it with fellow gardeners and subscribe to Soil and Crop Central for more science-backed field-tested techniques. Together, we'll keep your soil thriving and your crops growing strong naturally.